Hey everybody, welcome back. Mike here at MH Tutorials. Well guys, today we're going to do another video in our food series and I got a question to model a cookie. Okay, here we go. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start with a polygon cylinder. We're going to drag that out. We're going to pull that up just a little bit. We're going to go to our polycylinder tab here and we're going to set our uh, subdivisions to 30 okay and then we're gonna do uh, let's see four on the caps that should be enough well, maybe five okay we'll do five all right okay then we are going to right click go to edge and actually before we do that just go to my top view I'm just going to right click at an edge and take out these edges right there and make sure you hit control delete to uh, avoid end gons. Okay. All right. We're going to select this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy. And like I just said, avoid end gons. And for some reason I have end gons. Okay. So let's try that again. Right click edge and control delete that should work let's quickly check that quite sure i don't have hangons but nevertheless i'll just have to do it this way almost there there we go. So we've got that one, that one, that one, and that one. And we're going to start to raise them up a little bit like that. Okay. And we're going to be tweaking this quite a bit. So no worries. All right. So now that we've got that, what we're going to do is we're going to create a lattice. So right click object mode, select that, go to animation. Create deformers, lattice. There we go. All right. Now, uh, I'm going to tweak this a little bit because I'm not quite happy with how the lattice is set up. So let's see. We'll bring that down to 4, 4, and 4 so I can see what's going on. So that's my guy. And Okay, so what do we want? What do we want? Okay. Um, all right. We are going to select our lattice, right click lattice point, and we're going to move to this view right here. And we're going to drag select the lattice points like so. So not the bottom row. We're going to hit E. We're going to start to rotate to about here. Then we're going to skip a row. And we're going to rotate that some more. We're going to skip a row. And we're going to rotate that some more. Now let's see what we got. All right. So this is what we have so far. That's all right. OK. Right click object mode, select the whole thing, edit, delete by type history. So we'll get rid of our lattice here. There we go. Then we are going to right click, go to face, and we're going to start to select every other face row in this pattern. Okay. And I'll just uh, pause the video and I'll see you guys when that's done. All right, there we go. We're going to go to back to our polygon. We're going to go to edit mesh and extrude under face. Let's give that a little bit of thickness. Let's do that. Okay. And now we're going to right click at object mode and we're going to select it and we're going to hit three to smooth that out. Okay. And that looks all right. Okay want to go back we're going to right click at a face we're going to select that guy 
and we're going to go to Edit Mesh, Extrude Under Face, hit W, we're going to pull that up to about there. Then we're going to hit G to repeat, R to scale in, pull that in, and hit W and pull that up. G to repeat, R to scale in, pull that in, W, pull that up. G to repeat, R to scale in, hit W to pull that up. And once more, G, R to scale in, and we'll scale in a bit further, and W to pull that up. Okay. One more check, right click object mode, hit three to smooth out which looks all right. Now we need to um, modify the surface a little bit. This looks a little bit too straight, artificial, uh, no cookie is that symmetrical, okay? So we're gonna go in and we're gonna right click go to vertex. We're gonna hit B on our keyboard. So we have our soft select going on, okay? Hold down B and left mouse click and drag in or out to affect the area, to choose the area that you want to affect, like so. And we're just gonna click on an area, click on another area, and just make sure that it's not as, uh, we'll do a big area for that, that it's not as symmetrical as it looks, okay? Because we definitely do not want that, okay? And Obviously, it's up to you how how much time you want to spend on that, but uh, you know, just uh, give it your best. Okay. Then we're going to increase that range a bit. So hold the B key, increase that a little bit, and we'll do a little tweaking, not too much, because these things should be somewhat symmetrical. Okay, object mode, we're going to hit B and we're going to turn that off. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to do some texturing here. So for this guy, um, and let's see how that's going to turn out because that's going to be tricky. We are going to, um, I'll just right click, go to face. First, I'm going to hit one to go back. I'm going to select these. these faces here, right click assign new material. Let's go with a, uh, a blin. So we can kind of make that a little bit reflective. I'm gonna have my checkered box, go to file. And I have a file called gem. There we go. We're gonna hit our checkered box here. Okay. And Maybe we'll add some, but uh, it's not bad. Let's just quickly check. Object mode, hit three to smooth out. Okay, as you can see, we need to do these as well. So we will right click face, we'll do those. Right click assign existing material, and that's our blend. And as you can see, it's flowing a little bit into the cookie, which is nice. And then we'll do right click object mode. Select all these faces and then we're gonna deselect our jam. Should have done that first. Just give me a sec guys, I'll just deselect the jam here. All right, so I've got those. Right click, assign new material. Uh, I'm gonna go with the Lambert on that one. And Hit my checkered box, select file, and I have a file called cookie texture. Let's hit our checkered box here. There we go. That's gonna need some tweaking, looks like. So right click object mode, create UVs. We'll do a automatic. Let's see how that works out. Not, not great. Let's see, most sense would be planar mapping, but yeah, that looks a little bit better, okay. 
just going to right click go to object mode i'm going to hit three to smooth that out let's see how that looks that's not bad it's just uh we need some tweaking here as you can see at these edges so what we'll do there is right click face and we're just going to select these faces Click assign existing material number two, and let's see if that works out or not. That is not too bad. Okay, we'll have to give this a render to get uh, give us a, an idea whether this is looking okay or not. But uh, so we'll just go to this view. That looks okay, and just for um, to make it visually. And more appealing just gonna hit control D to duplicate and W move that over pull that up a little bit and we'll just uh, tilt that guy a bit I mean two cookies are always better than one right Let's bring that in to, let's say there. And we'll rotate that one so it's not the exact same way. And we'll do one more, Control D, and W, pull that out. And uh, let's put it back here somewhere. So, okay, let's just uh, set up a resolution gate. That would be about right. I'm going to go to view, bookmark, edit bookmark, and call this cookie. And close. We'll create a, uh, a floor, just a ground plane. And we'll do right click, assign new material. We'll do a Fong E. And we'll make that white. Let's set up some lighting. Create lights. Um, let's do a directional light. Okay, I'm gonna hit W, pull that up. Hit T on my keyboard so I can kind of point it towards where it needs to go and hit seven on my keyboard so I can see what my light's doing. All right, I'm gonna go to our render settings, mental ray, indirect lighting. I'm gonna use image based lighting, global illumination, final gathering. Um, I want my ray trace shadows on and they should be yeah that's fine um, i'm going to set my image size to hd 1080 uh, let's see what else okay quality tab obviously 1.5 uh, let's choose a um, an hdri image so my uh, hdri and you can download these files for free. There are a lot of places where you can get them for free. Just uh, Google for free HRI images, okay? So let's see, um, I don't know, sunny office street, why not? Let's go back to our bookmark, okay? And let's give this a go and see how it looks, okay? I'll just hit render, see you guys when it's done. Hi guys, it's still rendering, um, but I still want to do a couple of tweaks. So I'm just going to escape this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my jam material. So I'll just uh, select that. And I want to bring down the reflectivity just a little bit, okay? Because it's a little bit too shiny and it looks a little bit unnatural, okay? So I'll bring the reflectivity down to 0. Point three that would probably be a little bit better and I saw 
some areas down here, right click face, this guy, this guy. Right click face, that one, that one, and that one. Existing material, and I believe that was Lambert 2. Yes, it is. Okay. And then we are going to take our ground surface here, that one. And that was a Fong E, but I don't see a lot of reflection there. So I'm just going to make sure that that's set up correctly. It should be, but I don't see any reflection from my HDRI image, which is kind of odd. Okay, could be the angle maybe, but we'll give it another go. Okay, so we're gonna go back to our bookmark. There we go. And we'll call this our final render. Okay, hit render, see you guys in a sec. Well, there you go, guys. Here's our final render for our cookies. And uh, looking at them, I'm getting a little bit hungry. So I think it worked out okay. So that's the tutorial for today. I got a message for my subscribers before I sign off. Uh, I'm going to be traveling in the month of May. Uh, so I'm not going to be uploading as much videos as usual. I do have a series that I... Uh, prepared up front and I'll try to upload as many as I can while I'm on the road okay so you don't have to uh, you know twist thumbs and wait for me to get back okay excellent well thank you guys for watching as always uh, hope to see you guys again and uh, see you guys next time